Talk about a tease, Jacob over at EVGA has been teasing pictures along with uh, Kingpin himself of the upcoming GTX 1080 Ti Kingpin edition. Now early on I accidentally mistaken this for a GTX 1080 based on the numbers on the Micron memory chips but under uh, further look, uh, this definitely is a 1080 Ti. It's got the uh, chips in all the right places as well as the updated 11 gigabits per second modules. Now, all of the exact specs on the card are not nailed down. Um, we do know it shares the same specifications as other GTX 1080s as far as CUDA core count, memory capacity, uh, TDP, and all of that jazz. But what we don't know are final clock speeds, we don't know what the final cooler design looks like, but when it comes to power delivery, at least we do know that it has a pair of 8 pins, which is a bit different. I mean, even the last uh, GTX 980 Ti Kingpin Edition carried uh, two 8 pins plus a 6 pin connector. So it looks like this one, well, we'll see. It may be limited just as all GTX uh, 1080 Ti Pascal base cards are, but they may have some secret sauce in here. I mean, these, this thing's covered in connectors, so there's a lot more going on than just power delivery. So it'll be nice to see whether it does extend the overclocking. Um, now, these are typically geared toward LN2 overclockers, but there may be some secret sauce on this card that allows for even better overclocking while still staying on air. So, well, the good news is you won't have to wait long to find out. They're going to be showing this card off at Computex. Um, as far as whether it launches at Computex or not, that's a different story. But I would imagine that it's going to be sooner rather than later because it's already been quite some time without a Kingpin card. Uh, along with the Kingpin, we're looking at possible um, MSI Lightning cards and Colorfor's Kudan. You know, the big massive one with all the nice flashy LEDs on it or LCD screen rather um, but you know it'll be interesting to see how this thing shakes out with when its final core clocks and performance numbers do get revealed all right guys this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and we will catch you all in the next video